Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've been shopping again and I've got another bargain bag. Uh, the bag is from Amazon and the shop on Amazon was the Zen U store. Uh, I'll put all the links down below. I have been using Vipon coupons again. That's uh, an app that you can get, V-I-P-O-N, um, and it just gives you lots of coupons and bargains for Amazon. Uh, I am going to have to stop using it because it's going to bankrupt me. <laughs> but you can't resist a bargain. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any free products or any commission or anything, but I just like to share bargains uh, and a way of you getting something a little bit cheaper. So let's get into this parcel. And see what we got. Okay. So we have a little flat round one and two little long thin ones. Let's do the flat round one first. Okay. So I can only give you the price of these really as a whole. Um, they were differing prices, but for the three items, uh, including delivery, I paid £21.61. and pence. Um, Some of them were like £25 each, but they were nowhere near worth that, I don't think. Um, but basically, for the prices that they were charging, I've got three items for the price of uh, one. So, let's get into this and have a look. Where the pair of scissors? flat one uh, 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 where am I going to get into it let me just cut this end off really really carefully okay let's see where we are oh, there's that one. oh. oh that's pretty that's really pretty oh I like that have the mini tiny unicorn wreath and you know how much I like my wreaths the house is going to be absolutely covered in them at Christmas and I was thinking it's going to look really bare after Christmas so I'll get a few more but this is a little teeny tiny one um, I think it's like white acrylic it's not cardboard and it's not that sort of um, EVA stuff that I've had so yeah I do think this is white acrylic so, hmm, that's different I've not had one like this before but that is so pretty oh, it's got a huge cover sheet on it let me just cut some of this off don't need all that because I'll be cutting it off anyway when I'm diamond painting I don't want big bits like that flapping around to get rid of that bit that's better so that colour the pastel palette on this is absolutely gorgeous so we've got two unicorns it's more or less ha um halloween goodness me it's not halloween it's more or less valentine's isn't it it looks like we've got two oh they definitely look as though they love each other nuzzling the noses and they've got their eyes closed look oh that's really pretty and we've got all these beautiful little pastely flowers and leaves around the edge oh Oh, oh, that's a definite oh moment. Uh, you can see that the drill field is really, really clear. You can see all oh, there, look. Just go around a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's really sweet, really pretty. Okay, it isn't a very big one though. Let's measure it and just double check. And... So this one is only 23 centimetres that way, which is 9 inches by, yeah, again, about 23 centimetres, which is 9 inches. So instead of being a 12 inch wreath, this is only a 9 inch. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's really nice. You can hang it up either by using a piece of invisible thread or because this is just white acrylic, um, it, you could just use your command strips or some sticky buds or something on this it'd be really easy to stick up and it's not going to show through the other side because it is a solid white all the way through a very different one very nice like that 
very basic toolkit there um pen boat and wax nothing to write home about but again if you knew it's enough to do your job so let's have a look at these drills looks like they're all just uh, crystals any different oh there is a few different shapes at the end there so let's have a look lovely pastel-y colours that we have a nice palish pink and a couple of different shades of purple there and like a, a very palish orange oh and an even paler pink and an orangey red and some more uh, purples and lilacs and an aqua and a couple of greens and a greeny blue and that's the palest pink I've ever seen wow um, and the specials we just have some of the little gold like marquees with the silver back and some of the little teeny tiny gold tea uh, sorry purple teardrops gold purple is oh dear get your glasses on okay so that's number one very very nice like that okay let's have a look at the next one let's just pop you and gone over there out of the way so this is a thin little bag let's see if we can get this one open okay all right Check there's nothing else in there no and this one is oh yes Oh, a bit smaller than I expected. Okay, so this one is uh, very, very bendy. <laughs> Just flatten her out a bit. Okay, it's sort of a medium stiff canvas. And it's a lady with a very, very pretty dress. And it isn't really something that uh, I order. Um... I prefer my fairy animals and cutie things, but I just thought this dress will look stunning. And actually the lady is very teeny tiny at the top there, goodness me. So I don't even think once the uh, blingy beads are on and gems that you're gonna notice that it's a lady at the top. Let's see if we can flatten this out a bit. Just, uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, I do have fun with my plastic. Bend them the other way a bit. Just try and get them to go the other way slightly. Oh dear. And this is uh, how not to diamond paint and how not to make YouTube videos. Lesson 803. Oh, right. That's better. I think I can see her a little bit better. Just bend her that way a bit. Sometimes find when there's a little bit stiffer canvases that even rolling them backwards just crinkles the plastic rather than actually uh, flattening out the canvas. But yeah, that is a gorgeous frock. I like that. Uh, we've just got one little key code right at the top there with a very, very wonky edge. Uh, uh, somebody's been in a rush look when they've cut that one. <laughs> And it's what, eight different, yeah, eight different colours there. Whoops. We've got eight different uh, gems there. Yeah. And we start at the top with the lady with all the gems and bits on her head and then all the way down that dress. And I don't think this is going to look very, very blingy and very, very pretty when it's done. It's one of those uh, dresses, those frocks that you'd like to come down a big staircase with it and just swoop down all elegantly um something i've never been as elegant uh, falling over and tripping over my feet yeah elegant no <laughs> okay a nice clear drill field all the symbols look uh, really easy to see but yeah lovely so uh same toolkit but in a ziploc bag this time rather than a plastic bag Let's have a look at these gems. Oh, and we've got different gems as well. We've got the white strip on these rather than the grey and blue. Okay, 
Did you see that? I got into the uh, bag straight away. I didn't have to go hunting. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's have a look at these. It looks like some very pretty colours. So we have a red and a hot pink, hot pink. Yay, I'm pleased it's got a hot pink. And oh, green. That's going to look good. That's like a real emerald green. And a very light purpley colour. And a light sea blue and a gold. And oh, look at those. They're uh, like an AB, got an iridescent coating like oil on water. And are they faceted? Yeah, faceted larger rounds. And then some green faceted larger rounds. So it's going to look really pretty. Something very different for me, as I say. I don't normally do ladies. Uh, I am more into the cutesy of my animals and things, but just the idea of that dress just really appealed to me. So we'll see how she turns out once she's been done. Okay, so that's canvas number two or project number two. Let me move her out of the way. And then the last one. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, let's get into this bag. And this one is a little bit different. Let's see, just check the back, nothing else in there. It's got a very uh, big bulge at this end. So let's have a look and see what we've got. And oh, after the success of my last clock, I have now ordered another clock. Because I know the work now, and now to put them together. Yay, kill me! <laughs> Oh, uh, we've got a pair of the uh, cheap plastic tweezers in this one. So, yeah, pen, boat, wax and tweezers. So, hmm, yeah, I don't really use tweezers. I presume that they're maybe for helping you put the clock together. Um, but, yeah, I, I, mm, yeah. Anyway, I'm not overly keen on those plastic tweezers, but they do the job if you do want to use them. So, we've got all our clock mechanisms in here oops just get that open because that one is trying to escape we've got uh, the hands there now then i wonder if this one yeah you see the coat maybe yeah, they're supposed to be silver because they're coated black on that side but when you put the clock together you have to put them down so that, i don't know if you can see that yeah you can that that ridged bit there has to go downwards because there's no way with that ridge there you can push that down it has to go down that way so they're going to be silver hands again on this one though i think the silver hands will look okay um, and again we've got two sets okay just going carefully with all the bits so it's a battery powered again just one double uh, a battery oops and we've got two little second hands that one's got a bit bent okay and then the washers and ooh, oh yeah we have oh have we got the little bits no there's none of those little bits that go in between Ooh, that's not good. I'll have to keep an eye out for them then because you need a little bit to go in between the hands. So we've got two lots. Oh, unless you put, do you put the hands together? Do the hands go together? No, why would the hands go together? No, because then you, you're going to get, no, they're not going to go together. Anyway, sorry, I'm just uh, thinking out loud here. I shall figure this out when I actually get it done and get to do the clock. So I'll put that there. But as I say, there should be an extra little bit of plastic. We may come across it um, as we're going through this. Uh, let me just double check this bag again that it's not falling out in this bag. So my eyesight's not the best. No, there's nothing in the bag. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's a strawberry clock. 
and I thought this would look lovely in my kitchen. Uh, if you remember, I did buy a strawberry wreath and I did say that I might turn that into a clock. And then I saw this one and I thought, yeah, that will look really good and it'll be square. So what I'll do is put it on probably mount board um, or get, um, you know, this is 35 by 35. So it may be 30 by 30. Let me have a look. It's the actual canvas size just a smidge under 30 centimetres which is 12 inches by yep 30 centimetres which is 12 inches so it's just a smidge under so I could get a 30 by 30 frame for it or as I say I can put it on the mount board because it's going to have to be an open one you're not going to be able to put um, glass on top with it having a clock mechanism or um, if you saw me using these before these are those diy where you just slot them together photograph frames this is 30 by 30 so i could use that and then that will accommodate the clock mechanism as well ha ha yeah up there for thinking down there for dancing <laughs> yeah i think that's a pretty good idea yeah that would mount round there very nicely okay so let's have a bit closer look at the canvas i'm getting carried away there with the clock around so like <laughs> getting carried away by the clock Woo. okay so we've got lots of pretty little flowers look all the way around the edge i think they're gorgeous and then these are all like strawberry plants going around the edge like roses and strawberries very very pretty are they strawberries? I thought they were strawberries. They're not having the roses. Duh. Oh dear. Maybe I'm not the brightest button in the box today. <laughs> Could have sworn this had strawberries on it. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's a lovely clear drill field and we've got some very nice clear numbers. They're all Roman numerals for your we haven't got a number 12 though at the top, have we? Um, we've just got to guess that this is number 12 at the top here. Look. Uh, obviously the heart has printed on top of the uh, number 12 but that's okay I think we can probably work that one out and um, there is a hole in the middle there look for putting your clock um, mechanism through which is great but yeah I thought this one would just be a little bit different and I just can't see that in my kitchen for a change just to brighten it up and make it look nice and summery because it probably will be summer by the time I get this one done <laughs> Okay, let's go back and have a look at the drills. So we're back to the uh, silver and grey drills again on this one. And there is nine colours on this one as well. Okay, we've got key code top and bottom. So that always is helpful. And have a look at these colours. Looking really pretty. So we've got green and we've got gold and a very well, that looks like a strawberry red to me it definitely looks like strawberries but they are roses <laughs> actually no they do look like strawberries there i think there is strawberries on this i think that's a strawberry as well oh i'm not as daft as i thought i was <laughs> nice uh, spring fresh green there and a couple of palish pinks and then some little bit larger round pinks some marquees in uh, green with a coating on them a sparkly coating an AB coating and another larger green a little paler colour there as well so yeah that's uh... <laughs> is definitely strawberries on this i'm not going potty as much as i thought i was okay i love that that's really really pretty right so that's my uh, three little bits of my haul today so we've got our lovely clock just put the mechanism out the way so that i don't spill that everywhere so we've got our lovely strawberry and rose clock we've got our lady in her posh frock 
unicorns. Oops. And our unicorns. Okay. Oops. There you are. That's today's little haul. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these. If you have, uh, I'd much appreciate a thumbs up, which is the little like button down here. And I'd love it if you could share. And um, if you're enjoying these videos, just let your friends know. See if I can grow my channel a little bit more. And if you have enjoyed it and you want to subscribe, come back and see what I get up to next. Then if you press the subscribe button down here and the little bell next to it, You'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.